What is going on, Mega Man? Hey, Mega Man X Squad. So today, I am going to make a ranking tier list of all Pikmin games, but we're not going to include the spin-offs. That is Pik Hey Pikmin and Nintendo Land. Those games don't count as actual Pikmin games. And I don't have those games. So let's get on to the ranking. All right, so Pikmin 1. Obviously, this is a pretty good game. So it's a S tier. I really like the game's difficulty and I think it's a pretty good game. And I think you should play it as well. But it is a really hard game to find all all 30 rocket pieces. All right, Pikmin 2. This one is a lot harder than Pikmin 1 in my opinion. But it's still a S tier because it's a classic game. I really like the treasure idea, especially the caves. But this game is obviously automatically a lot harder than Pikmin 1. You see, Pikmin 1 was supposed to be easy, but Pikmin 2 is just really, really hard, but it's still S tier. All right, Pikmin 3. It's gonna be an A tier. I mean, it's it's a good game, but it's not really a masterpiece. You see, in this game, you collect fruit instead of treasure. I mean, you do collect treasure, but that's in the side story, which you obviously have to unlock. And yeah, we're on the final game. There's only four games to the series. So Pikmin 4. Um, I'm gonna say this one is B tier. I mean, it's a good game. No, it's not really um, that hard. You see, I like really, you see, I like really hard games that make a challenge. This one and Pikmin 3 are just too easy. But I really like the dog in Pikmin 4. And I also really like the ice Pikmin. I also really like the wing Pikmin and the rock Pikmin in Pikmin 3. I also like the strong Pikmin and the white Pikmin in Pikmin 2. I like all the Pikmins because they are uh, actual helpful living creatures. Anyways guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys then. Bye!